Today we are gonna be together to go through the calendar in P6. Calendar 1 has been assigned to recall activity. Calendar 2 has been assigned to conduit activity. To check the whole days and working hours of these calendars, let's open the calendar under Enterprise menu. Let's click Notify button to check the whole days and working hours of calendar 1. As you can see, the second and ninth days of January are holidays. Each day has 8 working hours. Ok, I will close this and check the calendar tool. I will click on Notify button to check calendar tool. As you can see, the 1st, 2nd, 9th and 10th days of January are holidays in the calendar tool. Also, there are 8 working hours for each day. Ok, I will close them. I will go to Schedule menu under Tools button. I will click on Options. These are the calendar options that we can assign to the link between successive activities. We can either assign predecessor's calendar or successor's calendar or default calendar or 24 hour calendar to the link. I will close them. I will demonstrate link calendar options in P6 through Excel for better understanding. I generated the same activities with the same calendars in Excel. As in P6, in calendar 1, days 2 and 9 are holidays. Days 1, 2, 9 and 10 are holidays in calendar 2. Activities such as prequel and conduits have the same relationship and lag among them as is seen in P6. This is the scenario of activities having a lag with a predecessor calendar. Calendar 1 has these holidays. Prequel takes for 6 days. When we consider holidays, these are the days of the brick wall activity. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. There is 3 days lag. Since lag calendar is the calendar of predecessor activity, which is brick wall. Day 2 is holiday for the lag. For lag, these are days 1, 2, and 3. 3 working days after the commencement day of the brick wall, conduit activity can start. Considering the calendar 2 assigned to the conduit activity, these are the working days from 1 to 5. Ok, let's check the scenario that is a lag with the successor's calendar. Since day 1 and 2 are all days for the successor activity, which is conduit, the lag can start on day 3. Lag starts on day 3 and finishes on day 5. Later, conduit activity can start and take 5 days. In this scenario, that has 24 working hours in a day. Ok, I will mark it in red. If we have 8 working hours in a day, 3 days of lag can be completed within a day. This is the formulation. 8 hours divided by 24 hours and multiplied by 3 days equals 1 day. Lag will take only 1 day like this. However, the conduit activity can start on day 3 because day 2 is a whole day for it. Therefore, the conduit can start on day 3 and finish on day 5. Ok, let's go to P6. And I will demonstrate the same scenarios in P6. I will update the schedule having features that contains a lag with predecessor calendar. I will click on update button. Considering the lag calendar, the conduit starts on day 5 and finishes on day 11. Ok, in Excel, conduit also starts on day 5 and finishes on day 11. When the lag has successor calendar, Conduit can start on day 6 and finish on day 12. I will change the lag calendar in P6. As you can see, in P6, Conduit activity starts on day 6 and finishes on day 12. Considering the 24 working hours calendar, Conduit can start on day 3 and finishes on day 7. I will assign 24 working hours calendar to the lag and I will update the schedule. Okay, I will close them.
özü kendisi ıslat da yetmiş de yok. Kum değil. Adı Seymez. In Excel. Also, we can assign the project default calendar to the link. I will show you the default calendar. Let's go to the calendar section. Under global section, the default calendar is marked. We can change the default calendar by marking. Like this. These are the holidays in January in the default calendar. I will close calendar menu. We can set a default calendar for legs and we can assign this default calendar to the leg. This is the end of my lecture. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section under this video. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you in my next coming lectures.